Yeah, no, I, I stay totally away from hours a day and time. I just do. I don't even, I just think relationship, prayer, sometimes it looks different than others. Sometimes if I have total volumes of time, I can let's lay on my bed and pray, and I don't even, I, I, I don't even keep track of time. Right. But I'm in communion. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not, but, but you have an, a conscious... You, the key is, guys, it's a great question. We're building a conscious awareness of Him so that you're never even just working alone and on your own. He's your wisdom in your work. He's your ability. He's your strength. Like, you're in communion with God. And you're on a computer. Say you work at a computer and you're figuring things out. Holy Spirit, just thank you for... Man, I just appreciate your ability in my life. Thank you for... You know what I mean? And, and then all of a sudden, just your heart for your business. Your work. Father, I just thank you for your blessing upon this world. God, I just thank you for wisdom in our leadership of this company. It's just prayer. It's just, it's in the moment. It's, you're driving and things come on your heart. You're just available. You're laying in the middle of the night and you wake up. It's not insomnia. Don't, even if it is insomnia, if you think the devil's waking you up, man, turn the table on him and say, Lord, I'm so glad you woke me. The devil's sitting there like, what? He didn't wake you? <laughs> I woke you. But it sure beats complaining and getting in a fight with the devil and trying to sleep every night. You want to get him to quit waking you up if he woke you up? Just turn it into a God moment and say, Lord, I'm so glad you woke me up. And if you woke me up, I know I'll have grace for work in the morning. Let's just pray wherever. Let's cover the four corners of the earth. Wherever you want me to believe for, I'm here to co-labor with you. Bring it on. Move my heart. Now you pray and you're praying in the spirit. You're praying for Africa. You're praying for Burma. you praying. You see what I'm saying? So it, it, there's no, I have no way to describe. I don't have a regiment. I have a relationship that's real to me. So I'm in conscious awareness with God and it involves communion with Him all the time. I'm awake at some level. I hope that makes sense. Do I get moved into seasons of prayer and times of prayer? Do things get big in my heart? Yeah, that's all leading of Holy Spirit. I will tell you this. I don't get moved into prayer because of trouble. I get moved into prayer because of promise. I'm an answer conscious guy. I, if I see, if I seen growing up my kids doing something that showed warning signs, I don't run to my room and say, Father, I just right now. Nope. Father, I just thank you for the conviction in their lives, the investment. I thank you my kids in time even will do right with what you've put in them. And Father, I just bless my children and thank you. And I would never lose one step of productivity through concern. Because I'm not praying concerned. I'm praying believing. Does that make sense? Praying believing. You know how good it would do you mothers? Because you mothers can take your children really and no, I just love them. Well, okay, but crying every day and calling that intercession is probably not cool. Walking with a depressed face probably is not faith. Probably wrapping a faith vision. I'll get you in a sec. Probably wrapping a faith vision around your child. Walking in your bedroom. Father, did you not give me grace to bring forth Billy? God, is he not the fruit of my womb? There's an investment in that boy's life, a calling and a destiny. And I thank you because your grace is relentless. Holy Spirit, you're on his heart and you're moving in his life. No matter what it looks like, that boy is going to fulfill all you've created him to do. And I thank you for the life of my son. And, I, and then you go to work and nobody knows Billy's making bad choices because it ain't on your countenance and you're not in denial. You're in faith. There's a difference. Oh, that's good. That's good right there. 